So now let's talk about the aggregate crushing value test. We know that during the construction of our pavement, we have to pass the roller over the pavement and the roller that we pass is so heavy in weight and that weight can crush our aggregates. So we want that our aggregates should possess enough strength and resistance to crushing under the roller during construction. And aggregates possessing high resistance to crushing or low crushing value are preferred for use in high quality pavements. Also, please don't get confused with the fact that higher the crushing value, it means higher is the strength of the aggregates, is totally wrong. Higher the crushing value will give you the lower strength of aggregates and vice versa. The apparatus of this test consists of a steel cylinder, base plate, a plunger, compression testing machine, and cylindrical measure, damping rod, and sieves. So, Strength is the ability of an aggregate to withstand stresses or crushing load under gradually applied compressive load. So in this test, we take dry aggregates passing through 12.5 mm sieve and retaining on the 10 mm sieve. And these aggregates are filled in a cylindrical measures in three equal layers with each layer being tamped 25 times by a tamping rod. And after that, a load equal to 40 tons is applied at a rate of 4 tons per minute by the compression machine. After that, the aggregates are sieved on a 2.36 mm sieve and the aggregates which are passing through the 2.36 mm sieve are weight and are divided by the total weight of the aggregates which will give you the crushing value. Also, I already told you that strong aggregates give low aggregate crushing value. The aggregate crushing value for good quality aggregate to be used in base cores shall not exceed 45% and the value of surface cores shall be less than 30%.